Welcome to this elementary statistics lesson on surveys. In this lesson, you will learn the definitions of surveys and censuses, the definition and methods of probability sampling, the definition and methods of non-probability sampling, and sources of survey bias. Data can be collected from a population via surveys. A census is a survey of the entire population. All other things being equal, the census method minimizes system systemic error, but is often impractical because it's difficult to access every member of some populations. Sample surveys collect data from only a portion of the population. They're often more practical than censuses. Let's do an exercise. We will identify three different surveys and determine whether they are surveys, sample surveys, or censuses. Recall that a census is a survey of an entire population, while a survey is a survey of only a portion of a population. Consider the example of a survey of a classroom taken by surveying each student in the class. Is this a census or a survey? Note that the population stated is the classroom population. If every student in the class is surveyed, then this is a census. Conser consider a survey of students in a school by surveying some students from each grade. The population in question is the students in a school. Because the entire population of the school is not surveyed, this is not a census, but a sample survey. Finally, consider the U.S. Census. A census is a survey of an entire population. The U.S. Census aims to connect with every member of the U.S. population, but in reality, it does not connect with every member of the population. Thus, although it's described as a census, the U.S. Census is actually a sample survey. There are two main categories of survey sampling methods, probability sampling and non-probability sampling. Probability sampling is a sampling method in which each member of the population being studied has a known positive chance of being chosen for a sample. When probability sampling is used, the sample will always be representative of the population. There are several methods of probability sampling. Simple random sampling is the most commonly discussed method of probability sampling. In simple random sampling, all possible samples of n objects from a population of big n objects are equally likely to occur. A lottery is an example of a simple random, random sample. Systematic random sampling is similar to sim simple random sampling, but rather than pulling at random from a population, a random list of all population members is made, and then every nth element from the list is added to the sample. For example, a systematic random sample of students in a school would involve making a random list of the members of the student population and then choosing, for example, every third element from the list. Stratified sampling is performed by separating a population into groups, called strata, based on differences in some characteristic, then pulling a simple random sample from each group. For example, if an experiment divides a population by gender, then takes a simple random sample from each group, this is a stratified sample. Cluster sampling is similar to stratified sampling. Each member of the population is assigned to a cluster based on a characteristic or randomly. Then a sample of the clusters is chosen. The sample taken from the clusters is a simple random sample. Multistage sampling is a gen generalization of cluster sampling. It involves multiple rounds of sampling using any combination of the methods above. In contrast to probability sampling, non-probability sampling is a method in which the likelihood of each member of the population being chosen for the sample is unknown, or some members of the population may have no chance of being chosen. Non-probability sampling is less rigorous than probability sampling, and it's often less costly in practice. It typically leads to non-representative samples of the population. Yet despite this, the lower cost and the lower difficulty of generating a non-probability sample 
means that it is frequently used in practice anyway. Methods of non-probability sampling include voluntary sampling. A voluntary sample is one that takes participant, participating individuals who have elected to participate in the survey. Typical examples would include psychology studies at universities which pay students or give them course credit to take surveys. Telephone polling for elections is also a voluntary sample. Even though the members of the population called may be determined through random sampling, the individuals who actually compete the survey self-select to do so. Another example of non-probability sampling is convenient sampling. A convenient sample is a sample selected from among those who are easiest to contact. For example, if one stands outside of a grocery store polling customers about their opinions about an election, this is a convenient sample. A good survey study aims to capture a representative sample of the population. However, especially when non-probability sampling is used, bias due to unrepresentative samples is rampant among surveys. Unrepresentative samples are caused by selection bias. Selection bias can take many forms. Three of the most common are overcoverage, undercoverage, and voluntary or non-response bias. Overcoverage and undercoverage occur when some members of the population are proportionately more or less represented in a sample than they are in the population. The source of this bias is often convenient sampling. For example, if one stands outside of a luxury grocery store sampling people for information on their opinions about the upcoming election, wealthy or upper middle class consumers may be more represented in the sample. Or, for example, if one stands outside the grocery store during the day, one might be more likely to meet with people who are unemployed, elderly, or staying at home with children. Voluntary bias or non-response bias are biases that occur when samples are derived from volunteers. The volunteers sometimes represent members of the population who have particular motivations for participating in a survey. For example, if the survey pays money, need for compensation might be a motivator, or if the respondents are being asked for opinions on, say, consumer products, those with strong opinions, grievances to air, or rafes to give may be more likely than the rest of the population to volunteer for the sample. Another type of survey bias is caused by errors, errors in measurement, and this is called response bias. There are two primary forms of response bias. Social norms bias occurs when individuals respond misleadingly to survey questions to make a good impression. Their responses will tend to reflect what they believe is socially desirable rather than what is true. For example, if college students are asked about their drinking habits, a college student who is at home with their parents will be less likely to respond honestly about heavy drinking habits than one who is asked in the privacy of his dorm. Leading questions are another form of survey bias that cause response bias. These questions tend to push a respondent to answer in a particular way. Leading questions may take a quantitative form by offering respondents more options of one type of answer than another. For example, by asking a person to describe a product and providing eight positive choices, but only two negative choices. Leading questions may also be qualitative, incorporating assumptions into the question. For example, if I were to ask you, how much did you enjoy something, you will tend to answer in terms of enjoyment and be less likely to answer that you did not enjoy something. In summary, data can be collected from a population via censuses, entire population surveys, or surveys, surveys of only some of the population, or sample surveys. There are two main categories of survey sampling methods, probability and non-probability sampling. Probability sampling is a sampling method in which each member of the population being studied has a known positive chance of being chosen for the sample, while non-probability sampling is a sampling method in which the likelihood of each member of the population being chosen for the sample is unknown, or some of the members of the population may have no chance of being chosen. Survey bias may be caused by unrepresentative samples due to selection bias, such as overcoverage or voluntary bias. Or survey bias may be due to measurement error due to response bias, such as social norms bias or leading questions bias. This concludes our lesson on sample surveys and censuses.